All these new challenges are bringing together about the biggest restructuring we have ever seen, not just of the global economy, but of the global order as a whole. And 200 years ago, a famous British Foreign Secretary said that the new world had been called into existence to redress the balance of the old. In 1990, another old world ended, dominated by the Cold War, and people talked then, in 1990, of a new world order. What they actually meant then was a new political order. And what was not foreseen then, but is obvious now from everything that we see and do, what we experience in every day of our life, is the sheer scale and speed and scope of globalization. And it's only now that we can begin to understand that the world order that globalization brings and what it's going to look like, it's driven forward now not just by the balance of military strength, the Cold War times, or ordinary political power, it's being driven forward by a seismic shift in economic power that we see around us. But what does the new world order mean for countries like ours who are looking to succeed? I suggest that the countries that are going to succeed are those that combine flexibility, free trade, open markets, with proper stewardship of the environment, and investment in education, infrastructure, and innovation. And the question for us is how we meet and master all these challenges to ensure that Britain enhances its competitiveness in the process and realize, realizes what I believe is our destiny of success in this new world order. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges for the future.